Hello and welcome in this video. In this video, I want to have another example, which I have written this statement on the screen, factorial of a number. Let me comment on this. So, how to find the factorial of a number, which a number will be given by the user, and after that, how to find this. Let me have, let me have a number, after that, obviously a factorial is assigned to 1 and i also because we use for loop mm. enter a number for finding factorial Obviously, it will be saved to address of numbers. It must be number because I want to take one number from the user, not numbers. So let's have a for loop here. I is assigned to one. I laser or equal to factorial fi I equal to is laser or equal to number which it takes from here and obviously I plus plus it will increment now uh, now let's increment the factorial but instead of increment let's multiply it by i and let's have a print statement which will be for a sunday factorial equal to per sunday backslash obviously well the number here we just put and obviously factorial so let's print this or run this and after that we'll see what has happened here enter a number for finding factorial Let's enter 5. Yes, 5 factorial is 120. So, having this factorial, let's have one another example here finding the Fibonacci. Fibonacci of a number. How to find the Fibonacci? So let's see this example as well because it's also important. Mm, I want to have A is assigned to 0, B obviously assigned to 1. And let's have a number and a variable N and also a count count variable so enter a number to obtain the Fibonacci we can see series as well now let's have this an address of number which we have declared here the series is it is just because a message will be shown to the user and after that person the backslash and having a new line again person because it will be number a 
and V. We have initialized this value A as 0, B with 1, obviously. Count as assigned to means initialized with 2. Let's have a while loop. We suggest oh, while count lesser than number. Just have this operations A plus B and just assign A. Assigned to B, B is assigned to C, and now print that person back slash n obviously will be C, and count will be incremented. Now just see here. In this program I just want to run this and I'll talk what has happened here C is not defined let's define the C instead of N let's have the N here Here again in yes, enter a number to obtain the Fibonacci series, which I enter eight. See the series is starts from 0 to 1 1 2 3 5 8 and 13 this is the Fibonacci series so you have seen I have declared some variables and I've taken a number and just a message and then this numbers I've obviously printed so count is initialized in this while loop and at the end it will print something